hello, my bun can bun no more, so I thought I would show you my wash day routine. This is a shampoo routine that I like to do every month to six weeks to really kickstart the process of a healthy scalp. So I smooth out any hairstyle I've had and then I like to spritz the edges and nape of my hair with water just to help them be that little bit more supple because they are the most fragile parts of my hair. I then go ahead and slather on some coconut oil or any other oil as a pre-poo treatment. But coconut oil is so great because it fights against protein loss and it penetrates the hair as well so it's super moisturising. This is going to act as a barrier to keep the moisture in my hair from when I shampoo. I go ahead and spray any extra bit of water around places that are super duper dry. Then I split my hair into workable sized sections. I prefer to clip them with butterfly clips rather than twist them. Working on that back section, I go ahead and finger detangle. If I'm being lazy, I will use a wide tooth comb or a tangle teaser. So I just take small, small strands and I'm basically splitting them apart and working through to get out any knots, which is basically collected shed hairs. So you'll see a big knot there. I'm just working my way through gently, splitting and rolling the strands individually through my fingers until the knot comes free. I will then clip that section out of the way whilst I work my way through. It doesn't take me very long at all and obviously I can't really finger detangle till the cows come home. I just get out the bulk of any kind of definition. So you'll see here's the difference between one that's been fully finger detangled and the other section which is all rough and knotted. Once I'm done, I go ahead and leave that to sit for anywhere between um, 10 minutes to an hour. I personally don't like to do it overnight. I then hop skip it in the shower. I like to use Shea Moisture's Raw Shea Butter Moisture Retention Shampoo. I find it has a lot of slip and I can practically detangle with this. So as you see, I've taken down that section and I'm scrubbing at the scalp using the pads of my fingers. The shampoo will pretty much run down my hair because it suds up so well, lathers easily, and I tend to only need to do one scrub. I don't need to rinse and repeat. So I just wash that out, make sure I get as much of the shampoo out and clear as possible. And again, rubbing at the scalp to really free my hair of debris and build up. So I just repeat the process for each section, applying it straight to the scalp, rubbing with the pads on my fingers and it will travel down the hair shaft and then rinsing it clean. Once that's done, I squeeze out the excess moisture and apply my moisturising deep conditioner. Unless I want something a bit more strengthening, I really love Shea Moisture's Strength and Restore Jamaican Black Castor Oil Treatment Mask. So I apply that, try not to flick it in your eye like I did. Yeah, working my way from the ends upwards because the ends is the oldest part of the hair, so it really needs the most help. I go ahead and get some extra conditioner on my fingers and apply that to my edges and nape because again, that's the most fragile part. So I like to make sure there's some extra stuff getting in there and seeping through. I put on my plastic cap and then I leave that on for at least 10 to 20 minutes. If I have more time, I go ahead and add a heat cap because that really helps it penetrate. Once the time is up, I go ahead and rinse that out. And I'm making sure to just rinse, so I'm letting the water run through, I'm separating through the strands to make sure there's no product left, but I'm not scrubbing at the scalp, I'm trying to keep my cuticle nice and smoothed down, and it's here that I will then twist my hair to keep it stretched. So repeat the process, just rinsing section by section and then twisting it up to keep it nice and stretched. 
shower is off and once again I'm squeezing out the excess moisture and then I personally like to use an old cotton t-shirt, 100% pure cotton, to help dry my hair. That way it's not roughing up the cuticles, again it's kind of acting like a microfiber towel. So I just wrap that around and leave it on whilst I'm getting out of the tub. Sorry this little bit's out of focus, but after a little bit I will take my towel off and here's where I proceed to style my hair. I decided with this one to just stick with twists because they're quick and easy. So I'm just taking the twist down and spraying my leave-in conditioner. I'm using the avocado and coconut leave-in conditioner by Shea Butter Cottage. And then I'm applying my trusty Shea Moisture Restorative Conditioner. And then on top of that, to seal everything in, I'm applying my homemade Shea Butter Cream. And I'll just finish that off by two strand twisting. So I'll go ahead and do the same thing, applying my leave-in conditioner, my moisturiser and my sealant. The great thing about twisting my hair or putting my hair in sections is I can then make that the basis for my style. So that's why I will have my sections with a parting, could be centre or to the side. It then just means that I can work straight from those twists, turning them into braids, bantus or whatever I like. So that's what my hair will look like when it's finished. Just some nice simple two strand twists which will come out in a nice big fluffy fro tomorrow. And that starts off the stretch for the week. So that's my wash day routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.